the inside of the front of the bomber. I already put my interface in here and I made the pocket markings. So you're going to have to follow that marking with a long stitch just so you can see where it's at on the front. Okay, so now from the front you can see where your pocket needs to be. I already ironed my welt in half like this, and that's going to line up right alongside that pocket marking. And there's going to be an extra half inch on each side here. So pin it in place right where the seam needs to start. and then end. And look on the back to make sure it's pinned in the right place. This one's right, but this one's a little bit off, so I'm gonna redo that. Okay, it should end pretty close to that mark in there. And then sew that first welt on at 3 eighths of an inch. So it's just right down the middle of the welt. When you look on this side, it should line up pretty closely with the start of that triangle and then the end of the triangle. So for the second welt, you'll just Butt it up against that first one with the raw edges together. And sew it on the exact same. Make sure they stay really close together the whole way. and make sure the start and end of your seams are the exact same on both welts. Okay, so now you're just going to cut down that line in the middle. Stopping at the triangle point and then cutting into the corner or to the beginning of that seam. If your uh, indication line is a little bit off, just follow the welt and not the line. Okay, so now you're going to turn the welt inside that cut line. Just like that. So from this side, all the raw edges are pointing out and the folded edges are lined up together. Now you'll just need to press it really well and then start with the pocket lining. So now that your pocket welts are pressed flat, we're going to start with the pocket bag. Um, you'll start with the longer piece. There should be an upper piece that's longer and a lower piece that's a little shorter. So start with the upper piece, put the right side of the fabric down, line it up with the upper welt edge. And then stitch it on 
pretty much right on top of that welt stitch or a little bit to the right of it. So now the top part is sewn on, and then we'll do the lower half. So the lower half will go like this, with the right side down again. And same thing, you'll sew it on pretty close to the welt stitch line. Okay, now that those are both sewn on, flip the pockets down like that. It should look like that when you pull it down. Line them up. And then here, you should have this little triangle from the welts. And you're just going to stitch right alongside that, pretty close to the seam. Triple stitch back and forth to just lock everything in place. And the same on the other side. There shouldn't be any puckers in the corners on the front when you're done. If there is, you might want to adjust that seam so there aren't any. And since I used a woven fabric for the lining, I don't want it to ravel, so I'm going to serge around the edges. So I'm going to serge along the top here, and then come around and serge all the way around to finish the pocket. Okay, now the inside of the pocket is finished. And the outside should look like this. If you want to top stitch it, you'll pull this part open like this to sew along the bottom and then lay it flat to do the sides and the tops.